one of the greatest things that you can do with your life and the times that God has given you is to invest in building quality relationships. Can I be honest with you? Many people do not have relationships that were intentionally built. Many people have circumstantial relationships. Circumstances just brought certain people into your life. There are three levels of relationships. Number one, there are general relationships. You meet people every day and the Bible mandates you love them. Believers, non-believers alike. You meet them every day. Number two, there are seasonal relationships. For instance, your classmates, your schoolmates, within the time you are together in that institution or that training, taking that course, you are together and you may be friends. But the third and the highest level, they are called destiny relationships or covenant relationships. These are people who believe what you believe. The foundational pillars of your convictions are also what they believe. And you have a covenant of fellowship that you are going to be there for one another through the thick and thin. You will not just be there to stand together that when they are on the ground you will come and stand by them and help them and lift them can i tell you this woe betides a man if everybody around you is a psychophant just looking for your money or your titles or anointing they will tell you because men are intrinsically selfish however there are still sincere people and my prayer is not just that you pray and say, God, give me one. Be one first. Hallelujah. Look up, please. We're wrapping up. When Jesus walked upon the earth, for as long as he was celebrity Jesus, there were crowds looking for him. Some were looking for him for food. Some were eyeing all kinds of things hoping that one day when he becomes king of kings and lord of lords he will put james and peter all kinds of motives but when jesus handed himself to die all of them ran away when jesus was going to golgotha my question where was blind bartimaeus where was the woman with the issue of blood where was even lazarus who was raised from the dead everybody ran away can i be honest with you you must obtain the grace and the courage at this level in life to edit your relationships don't treat everybody the same they are not the same categorize your relationships into outer court inner court and most holy place not everybody should have that kind of access to your life are you learning wisdom here someone comes into your life and in five minutes you've told him everything about your destiny you've told him everything about your past you've told him that oh your dad has a problem with your mom and tomorrow they go around and betray you and backstab you and destroy you you need wisdom it is not every visitor that comes to your house that you take to your bedroom no there are visitors who will stand at the gate there are others who will come to the living room but there are others you can literally take them to your bedroom and sit down because you know that even if you are in prison they will come and stand with you and say we die together can i be sincere with you this is one of the lessons that i have learned respectfully speaking in the life of our fathers of faith they may not have many people around their lives but my goodness god has given them the gift of men there are men who will stay like the mighty men of David in the cave of Adullam. Let me ask you a question as I round up. If you are in trouble today, God forbid, is there anybody in your life that you can call by 2 a.m. and say sincerely, there is an issue with my rent now. It's not like I am careless. And the person says, over my dead body, for as long as you are alive, I'm alive. I will not see you go through this. Hear me. If there is nobody like that in your life, you are sitting on a time bomb. Can I be, 
I want to be honestly. Even when Saul wanted to kill David and frustrated him, David said, Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? I have learned this as a lesson gleaning from the wisdom of the fathers can i be honest with you this is an assignment to everyone here write a list of the five most important men in your life people you know today who love you and will sacrifice anything for you invest in those relationships don't generalize and treat everybody the same way no there are people today if you call and say i i need i need five hundred thousand they will tell you well i will help you how could you put them in the same category with someone who can stab you with a knife even if they give you learn wisdom i'm teaching you this there are people today if you call them and say look i see that lust is already growing in me pride is already growing in me they'll say no not when i'm there let's declare a three-day fast i will stand with you i will pray with you can i be honest with you as you are rising in life and in leadership you must start praying not for a crowd but for this man lord from the crowd select this man bring them to my life there are men who will vow and say even if you go to be with the lord today your children will not beg for bread when they are alive can i be honest with you there are many of our parents in old age today they did not spend their days searching for quality destiny relationships and investing in it and you would see some of them move and they will tell you i lived in us for 10 years i know this one i know this one but they are still in a position today where not one of their children can have a job anything money can buy relationships can also buy relationships are currencies don't use money alone to buy things use relationships to buy things